Welcome back, labeling fans. Today, we've uploaded our new code into the Arduino, and we've got some push buttons here, which behave just like sensors, real sensors. They ground a pin. So we have a tag and a label sensor. We have a tag and a backing and a labeler motor indicators. So we have LEDs. Put these on just because we couldn't really trust the visualization since it would, could also be bugged. So we want to have independent bugging from the, uh, the visualization. All right, so let's start it up. We start it up, we see what's going on. We can establish connection and we see that the tagger and labeler LEDs are both flashing, but the backer is not because there are no, there are no tags or labels to, uh, to flash. So let's give it a tag. Here we go and see what happens. So tag goes on out. Everything is now moving forward. Tag advances on the, on the belt. You can see tag gets up to the point where it can go for no further because uh, there's not, there needs a new tag. So let's give it a new tag. In fact, let's give it several tags. Ah, while we're at it, we could see what happens here. We see the tag, the labeler is going and we're waiting now. We're waiting for a, a new, either a new tag is about to come in. Okay, we're now blocked. We're waiting for a tag or a label. Let's give it another tag and see what happens. Okay, now we have, now the tags are backed up. We have five tags in the system and we can no longer go back anymore because the tag and the label detection points are here so we can't detect any new labels or tags. So we can do nothing now and the only thing that's working is the labeler. So let's give it a label and see what happens. So here we have a label coming in. The labeler motor is working. Tag, the backer motor is now advancing everybody. All right, the, the tags can go forward. Let's give it another label. They came in kind of sloppily. Give it another tag, give it another label. All right. Everything is advancing. We're keeping count here. This is all, the visualization is keeping count. Uh, oh, the the Arduino also knows how much what's going on. All right, let's give another label here and another tag, and we can see what happens as the tags and labels now start reaching the end of the belt, and they're just going to fall off the edge of the world, just like in the good old days when the Earth was flat. And there they go, falling right off. And there you can see everybody working happily here. Up. Oh, now the backer is stuck because there are no more tags or labels. Let's give it some of each. See what happens here. And you see how the label, let's give a new label. Let's keep, keep on feeling them in now so we can have plenty of action. There we go, another tag, another, we can't give it a label. We have to wait, there's a label coming in. We have to wait now because everyone is blocked. Everyone's backed up. Okay, more tags more labels and everything is just working peachy keen and we can see that we can have as many as eight labels eight tags and five labels at a time at the most if we give another one here another one here so now we are at uh, active labels four active labels five active tags eight that's the most that can be uh, held on the, bl the belts at a single time and you can see why there's just not enough room. And there they go, going all along happily. And our little flashing LEDs are working. So this is really quite a nice little simulation. Uh, in fact, corresponding to the real thing because these LEDs would just be replaced by the actual motor drivers and everything would work the same. Just the only thing is we've slowed it down so that the uh, flashing actually can be visible. Otherwise it would just be constantly on. So the real, the real drivers would work much faster considerably faster. As I said, the, re the only slowdown is so that the LEDs can be visible as they flash. All right, well, there we go. And that's our little machine and our little demo. And uh, see you next time. Hope you enjoyed it.